This episode is brought to you by Microsoft Azure. Turn your ideas into reality with an Azure free account. Get everything you need to develop apps across cloud and hybrid environments, scale workloads, create cloud-connected mobile experiences, and so much more. Discover what you can create with popular services free for 12 months. Learn more at azure.com. That's A-Z-U-R-E dot com. And sign up for a free account to start building in the cloud today. It's time for Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. This is Comedy Forecast for Wednesday, August 26, 2020. Are you or are you not the Comedy Forecast Network? Let's dog ear this for now. Oh, hi, Clinton here, and here is today's actual odd news story. A group of artificial intelligence researchers have teamed up with theater professionals in the Czech Republic to create the world's first play written by robots. Researcher Rudolf Rosa of Charles University said his team is working with Svanda Theater and the Academy of Performing Arts in Prague on the project, dubbed Theater, T-H-E-A-I-T-R-E. Now, some of you out there may be thinking... Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't the term robot first used in a play? Well, points. You are correct. Back in 1920, Carl and Joseph Chubbuck coined the phrase for their play, R-U-R, a.k.a. Rossum's Universal Robots. The idea for the play was suggested by entrepreneur Thomas Studenick as a means of celebrating the 100th anniversary of R-U-R. Researcher Rosa explains, quote, Thomas thought that this should be properly celebrated and came up with this idea of turning the story around. 100 years ago, a man wrote a theater play about robots. What if today robots wrote a theater play about men? Rosa said the team is working with artificial intelligence models that were previously successful in generating pieces of text, including poems and dialogue. Rosa went on to say that, quote, Thanks to the approaching anniversary, our main target is clear and fixed. By January 2021, we need to have a play ready for premiere. He said the team is aiming to have a script finished in September to give the theater group time to turn it into a full-fledged production. Quote, Even though we are developing a general tool for theater script generation, at the moment we only really need to generate one script. Now that part of the story is true. The rest is commentary. Rosa, what are you doing? Robots writing plays? What's next? Robots writing podcasts? Yeah, and you know who they'll come after first? Me. I mean, these dog days odd news shows are great for them. Let's face it, I take a real news story, change the words around a bit, and then tack on a little thing at the end. It's the kind of routine a robot lives for. I mean, they're not alive, but you get the point. Look, the Royal Shakespeare Company has spent millions of dollars and decades trying to downplay that old... Give 1,000 monkeys 1,000 typewriters, and in 1,000 years, they will randomly type out all the text, including the complete works of old Bill himself. I mean, they've fought against this so hard that no one has even updated that saying to be 1,000 monkeys with 1,000 word processors. But I don't have that kind of time or money. If I told my patrons, whom I adore, thank you, if I told them that I was going to spend all of their Patreon money to try to stop a robot from writing my show, what would they think? I mean, what if they thought letting the robots do it was a good idea? No, the line must be drawn here, this far, no further. There are four lights, and I... Okay, that part never happened. Now... Go about your daily routine, human. By the way, how do I go about enlisting the assistance of 1,000 monkeys? Today's episode is part of Comedy Forecast's participation in Dog Days of Podcasting, a yearly challenge for podcasters to release an episode every day for 30 days at the end of the summer. 
This year's challenge runs from August 4th to September 2nd, 2020. For more information and to hear from all the other participating podcasts, go to dogdaysofpodcasting.com. But for now, as always, this is Sir Patrick Stewart. And I'm Clinton. Saying, that's, that's it. it. We're, We're done, 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 done. Bye-bye. If you produce audio dramas, it obviously isn't to become rich and famous. You love the medium and you want to share your passion for theater of the mind. The Mutual Audio Drama Network is looking for you. Mutual presents audio dramas every day of the week, each with its own genre. Mystery, sci-fi, comedy, horror, all reaches of the imagination. It doesn't matter if you produced your shows years ago or are still cranking them out. Share them on the world's largest collection of modern audio drama and audio fiction. Give a listen at MutualAudioNetwork.com. And if you'd like to be a part of the excitement with free access to all sorts of voices, sound effects, music, and more, just drop a line to mutualaudio at gmail.com. The Mutual Audio Drama Network. Why not join us today?